Hey everyone, this is Kamran and welcome to the second video of the authentication series. Our first video was the introduction where we discussed authentication, authorization, types of authentication, authentication factors and so on. In this video, we will be talking about the basic authentication and we will see how we can implement the basic authentication in Node.js. Before we begin, you should not confuse the basic authentication with the normal username and password authentication. Basic authentication is the part of HTTP specification and the details can be found in the RFC 7617. And because it is a part of the HTTP specs, all the major browsers have the native support for this. For example, you might have seen this screen in the Chrome or this screen in Safari. So this is your browser's implementation of the basic authentication. All right, so the question is, how do we make the browser show this authentication pop-up? Let's say that you visit some page which is protected by the basic authentication. How does the browser know that it needs to show the authentication pop-up? And the answer is, it is controlled by the response of the server. So let's say that you try requesting this protected URL. So the request will be sent to the server. The server will check if there is authentication header present on the request. Because this is the first request, there will be no header on the request. So the server will send the response in a specific way that will tell the browser to show the authentication pop-up. The response will have the status code of 401 unauthorized and there will be a special header called www-authenticate with the value set to basic which tells the browser that we need the basic authentication and we have additional parameter called realm which is just a value assigned to a group of pages which share the same credentials. The realm might be used by the browser to cache the credentials so that later on in the future if we have the authentication failure on a different page which has the same realm the browser might use the cached credentials for that realm without asking the user. All right, so the server will send this response to the browser. Now when the browser will notice the www-authenticate header, it will show the authentication screen to the user. Now when the user submits this form, the browser will automatically encode the credentials using the base64 encoding, and it will send them in the authorization header of the same request. Now the server will decode the header and verify the username and password. And if both are valid, then the server will respond with the successful response. And this is how the basic authentication works. All right, to summarize, the user tries to request some protected URL. The server doesn't find the authorization header. So it sends the response with the www-authenticate header. The browser finds the authenticate header and shows the login pop-up. On submission of the form, the browser uses the base64 encoding to send the credentials in the authorization header. The server verifies the credentials and grants the access. So this is how the basic authentication works. There is one thing you should keep in mind. If you're using basic authentication, the credentials are sent by the browser in the plain text format. So anyone sitting between you and the server can intercept the request and decode the credentials. So for security reasons, if you're using basic authentication, you should always use HTTPS instead of HTTP. All right, before we end the video, let's see how we can implement the basic authentication in Node.js. Here I have the URL at localhost column 3000 where I have implemented the basic authentication. As you can see, when I try to access this URL, the browser is asking me for the username and password. And if I submit the wrong values, it doesn't let me go through. And if I enter the valid credentials, I can finally log in and see the response. Let's look at the code base to see how it is working. Here I have a simple Node.js application. If I open up the package.json, we have a start script, which is running the file at src slash index.js. If you look at this file, we have a simple express server, which is listening on the port 3000, and we have a single page, which is returning hello world. Our basic authentication is implemented inside the auth middleware. And if you open the middleware file, you will see that we are getting the authorization header. We are decoding the credentials to get the username and the password. And then we are checking if the username is set to admin and password is set to admin, then serves the request. Otherwise we send the authenticate header with the basic value and the realm set to user pages and we send the 401 response with our message authentication required. And inside the decode credentials we are simply getting the auth header which has the value of basic space encoded credentials. We are removing the basic part from the beginning so this part and then we are decoding the credentials using base64 and after that we are splitting the username and password and returning it to the parent function. And that is how you implement the basic authentication. 
I have pushed this code to GitHub and the link to the project can be found in the description. And that is all for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see you in the next one.